So Moses gave them commandments on how they will conduct themselves when they get to Canaan. Please don't forget that. When they get to Canaan, why did he give them instructions on how they will conduct themselves when they get to Canaan? Because he was not going to be with them in Canaan. So since they were going to a land and he was not going to be there, he now gave them commandments on how to conduct themselves and how to operate in that land. So now, Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Now, just before we dismantle that verse, while they were going to the promised land, and Moses knew he was not going to go to the promised land, their eyes were set on the promised land. What was Moses' eyes set on? Can anybody guess? What was Moses' eyes set on? They were going to the promised land. Moses knew he was not going to go to the promised land with them. Obviously, Moses knew he didn't need the promised land. So since Moses knew what they didn't know, they were going to the promised land and celebrating. Where was Moses' eyes set on? Huh? Huh? The commandments? No. The law? No. Grace? No. Huh? Huh? Did I hear Christ there? You guys have Holy Ghost there. <laughs> Moses' eyes were set on Christ. They were looking for promised land. Moses was seeing Christ. So he doesn't need the promised land. He was contented with Christ. Let me jump ahead of myself. They didn't want Christ, so he gave them promised land. And he told them, as you are going to the types and shadows, these are laws to govern you. But as for Moses himself, I don't need the promised land. I have Christ. Are you following? Now, let's get to the scripture so we can do some work. Moses told them, when you get there, don't wear what belongs to a man and don't wear what belongs to a woman. And the reason why people keep coming to that verse and stumbling, great religious leaders, they will read and read, when they come there they will stumble, is because as long as you are not a Jew, you can never understand what you are saying. As long as you are not a Jew, you can never understand what Moses was implying when he said you shall not wear what belongs to a man, and a man shall not wear what belongs to a woman, and he called it abomination. So let's go like this. Once you cross culture, that instruction changes. Once you cross culture, so that means that instruction was within a particular culture. That instruction was only relevant within a culture. The moment you cross culture, that instruction no more holds. Number two, it's important for you to note that he was telling them when you go to Cana, this instruction was for Cana. In Cana, you shall not wear what belongs to a man. Why? Because in Cana, there were a people before Israel came. And the people that were in Cana were into what we call gay. There were gays among them in Cana. So since there were gays among them, what we call gay today, Moses now told them, when you get there, men should not behave like women. He wasn't talking of dressing. He was talking about adapting to the culture of gays. That's why I said, if you do like that, a man starts behaving like a sister. Get money. He said, it is an abomination. He was dealing with the people you will meet in Kenya. They are already caught up in homosexuality. That's why 
was dealing with here. He wasn't dealing with wearing clothes. He was dealing with the people that were going to be, because remember again, we have established that the commandments were given to them because of where they were going. That means, if they were not going there, they wouldn't need that commandment. They were going to Canaan, and Moses was not going to go with them. So, he gave them commandments, statutes, and judgments to guide them, since he was not going to be with them. Alright, 